If you enjoy this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you never miss out on another absolutely fantastic review. Enjoy! <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing SH Figuarts Ultraman Type A. At this point, we should all know the history of Ultraman. If not, click the card on screen right now to learn more about the history of Ultraman and to see some other cool reviews. This particular version of Ultraman is known as Type A. Type A refers to the version of the suit used in the 1966 Ultraman show. The Type A suit is the first Ultraman suit ever created, sporting a very intense alien-like look and a perfectly imperfect head sculpt. The Type A suit was used from episode 1 to 13 and then later upgraded two more times before the series ended. Be sure to check out the 1966 show Ultraman, it is iconic and absolutely fantastic. SH Figuarts Ultraman Type A is another fantastic release in the SH Figuarts line. Ultraman has a fantastic sculpt, paint apps, articulation, and great accessories. Let's jump right into it and take a look at Ultraman himself. Ultraman has a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right. The shoulders have a great range of rotation. They can rotate a full 360 degrees. The arms can come up higher than 90 degrees. We have an entire arm swivel. We have very nice double jointed elbows. The fists are on ball joints. So we can tilt and spin them freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. The legs can kick forward this much, Backward this much, which is basically not at all. Coming to the sides this much. We have a slight thigh swivel. We have very nice double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. And then finally, the toes are articulated. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Ultraman is absolutely fantastic. Starting from the top, we have Ultraman's signature head fin with a dull metallic silver paint app. This paint app is used throughout the body. The eyes are a semi-translucent off-white with a large round textured sculpt. At the bottom of the eyes, we can see the signature suit actor eye holes. Going around the eyes, we can see the impression of the eyes bulging out of the suit. The ears and mouth have a very nice etched in sculpt. As a whole, I'm really impressed with this head sculpt. It's perfectly imperfect. I really love how they've captured all the bumps, marks, subtle creases, and blemishes from the Type A suit. Moving down, we have the chest with a toned sculpt. In the center of the chest, we have our translucent blue color timer. If we look closely at the chest, we can see some very subtle folds in the suit. The shoulders and arms have a nice slender toned sculpt. The fists have a very nice glove-like sculpt. The rest of Ultraman's body has a slender toned sculpt with his signature Type A color pattern consisting of red and dull metallic silver. For accessories, first up we have our four pairs of hands with a smooth glove-like sculpt and a dull metallic silver paint app. We have a pair of open hands, chopping hands, cupping hands, and relaxed hands. The hands easily attach via ball joints. Now for a set of hands, we can mix and match them to enhance our favorite dynamic poses. Next up, we have our alternate color timer with a translucent crimson center. To attach, remove the normal color timer and then insert the alternate color timer with the flat side to the bottom and that's it. Now we can see Ultraman is running out of strength. 
Finally, we have our Specium Ray effect part with a fantastic energy surging sculpt. The body of the Specium Ray is a semi-translucent gradiated blue. Inside of the beam, we can see individual energy streams etched in, which is very cool. The Specium Ray attaches just like swapping hands. Now with the Specium Ray attached, Ultraman can finish his foes. Now that we have the accessories out of the way, Let's compare our Type A Ultraman with our Type C Ultraman and then do some size comparisons. As a whole, Ultraman Type A turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is very well done, the paint ups are clean with no major hiccups, the accessories are great, and Ultraman is fully posable. I really like how they captured the imperfections of the Type A suit, bringing us a faithful and true Ultraman Type A figure. I absolutely recommend picking this figure up. Now how much does Ultraman Type A cost? I imported my figure for $43, which isn't bad at all. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see the unboxing of this figure or more SH Figure Arts Ultraman reviews, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.